My name is Samuel St. Pierre. I'm a Dominican and Peruvian artist living in downtown Framingham, Massachusetts. I created Corazón de la Comunidad with sponsorship from ATAC, the Amazing Things Art Center. After hanging out and speaking with the kids in the community at Palom Apartments about what they feel is important to them, I knew the piece would have to be colorful, joyful, and a celebration of our love of family, friends, and music. I believe it's important to honor and remember where we came from, so I chose to feature the Taino creation myth as a framing device for present-day folklorico dancers celebrating the cultural dances from the Caribbean, Central, and South America. The Taino are the indigenous people of present-day Puerto Rico, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, and Cuba. They work closely with the Caribs and Africans brought over through slavery to attempt to overthrow the European colonizers. Though they were ultimately subdued, their culture, food, and stories persist to help create our modern-day experience of the Caribbean culture and Latinidad as a whole. Our story begins with Atabe, great creator goddess. She created the earth, stars, and planets. Then she creates the gods Yaya, Wakar, and Wataba to help her. Wakar creates the waves and the mountains. Wataba creates thunder, rain, and the oceans. Yaya creates Boinael, the sun, and Maroya, the moon. But he also goes behind his siblings' backs to create Yayael, a son that he raises in isolation, who grows to be selfish and evil. One day, Yayael even attempts to kill his own father, and Yaya decides to punish him by banishing Yayael from the heavens to earth for one year. Back to work, Yaya invents seeds. Wakar scatters the seeds by inventing the wind. Wataba waters the seedlings with rain. Boinael helps the seedlings grow with sunshine. Jealous at their teamwork, Yael pushes the earth towards the sun, creating a devastating drought and the season of summer. Maroya uses dance and moonlight to raise the tides, flooding the lands and creating rivers and streams to keep the plants alive. In response, Yael pushes the earth far away from the sun, freezing the rivers and inventing the season of winter. Yaya feels he has no choice and kills Yael. Changed forever by the act, Yaya changes his name to Yukahu as an act of mourning. Yukahu hides Yayael's body and his own tears away in a gourd and places the gourd on a tall shelf. Yukahu finds four gemstones and turns them into beings represented by the four cardinal directions, the quadruplets Wakuno, Sobako, Achino, and Karomo. The quadruplets create birds to spread and receive messages from Earth. Wakar and Yukahu create the first human, Lokuo. Meanwhile, the quadruplets use their birds to knock the gourd off the shelf, thinking they could catch it before it hits the ground. They were wrong, and instead the gourd breaks and spills its contents onto the earth. The tears turned the ocean salty, and the bones turned into fish, populating the seas. Upon seeing the evidence of Yukahu's secret, Guacar, heartbroken, vows to never create with her brother again. Yukahu, unable to create beings with souls without his sister, creates all the animals of the land. Wataba uses lightning to gift warmth from fire to Glokuo. The quadruplets steal a fiery branch and gift Glokuo the knowledge of creating his own fire. Yukahu gives Loko agriculture and he combines this knowledge with fire to create the art of cooking. As an act of gratitude for all that he's received, Loko sacrifices parts of his own stomach to create the first woman. Guacar, pleased with Loko's efforts, gives the woman the ability to create souls within her own womb. The children proliferate and become the Daino people.